Good evening and welcome to local news from local Facebook groups. Here are the headlines. Man from Epsom haunted by snooty ghost who doesn't like his soft furnishings. Misprint found on more than 10,000 pieces of commemorative crockery. Man in Peterborough finds pebble shaped like Voldemort. But first our top story. With inflation set to skyrocket, local businesses are struggling more than ever. But one shop has the crowds drawing in, thanks to one of its customers going viral. Let's find out what she had to say about Scarborough curtains. When I found this place and I came in, I can't tell you what I did. I had to do the whole house. I had to. But I mean, come on, how could you not buy? I could walk out and not buy these curtains. They're so beautiful. They really, really are gorgeous. Everyone was on clearance. I mean, their prices. That's crazy. It's unbelievable. She better stay here too forever. <laughs> she better. It's so beautiful. As I say, if you go any place else, I hate to tell you what a big mistake, because this is the only place to come for these gorgeous, gorgeous curtains for this price. It's more than worth the trip. Yeah. Believe me, a lot more. This is unbelievable, this place. It is more than worth the trip to come here for curtains. And I'm glad to say we have Patty Portier joining us live. Good evening, Patty. Hi there, ma'am. You obviously have a real love for curtains. When did that begin? Well, Jill, my papa once said that I took my first breath when I came out of a pair of curtains the beef variety and um i've loved curtains ever since I've been, as a little girl they bought me a little dolly house which had everything faucet trash can bathroom but no curtains so um i decided to buy curtains from the age of six dare i ask how many pairs of curtains do you have oh my god i love curtains uh, a lot of my girlfriends they collect shoes and, and purses but, uh, I collect curtains. Um, last counting, I must probably had about 4,026 pairs. I mean, I, I even bought curtains for my son's computer screen. We well, said, Mom, why? I said, well, it's got windows, hasn't it? Now, Patty, when you're not busy with curtains, are there any other hobbies you have? Well, when we take a vacation, we always come here to Scarborough Curtains. And uh, my, my lovely husband will drag me to the movies sometimes, but I'll only watch Gone with the Wind or Sound of Music because <laughs> they make clothing out of curtains. And before we go, Patty, I recently went to the doctor and told him I felt like a pair of curtains. Can you guess what he replied? <laughs> yes. He most probably said, don't take showers. Chances are you must be dry clean curtains. Yeah? Hmm? Oh. Well. Thank you, Patty. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, ma'am. Right, the curtains in blue, green and silver. Now showbiz news. Forget Hollywood, it seems that Bristol is drawing in the celebrity crowds. Here's our local South East correspondent, Maggie Bogg, with all the celebrity sightings. Oh, so you lot again, is it? Oh, all right, all right, yeah, okay. Well, um, Bristol ain't no London, but uh, we sure get our fair share of celebrities around here. I mean, born and bred here, who's uh, Maisie Williams from that Game of Thrones. She's knocking about a lot. And Stephen Merchant. I saw him in the library. And um, I saw that um, uh, Mayor Jammer and that YouTuber, Chunks. They're having a nice little sandwich by the uh, Bristol Arbor the other day. In November last year, our Christmas shopping, TK Maxx, and bumped into Clive Owens. You know, a movie star from Children of Man. Yeah, he bought some new underpants. Now, one day we saw that uh, um, Zoeller, the vlogger, famous vlogger, uh, Zoe Zugger, so much, so much. She was taking selfies in Primark. <laughs> I took one with her. <laughs> no, I don't have a picture. No, it's on her phone. Yeah. And then a couple of years back, we had uh, Prince Harry and Princess Markle Megal. Yeah, they were shaking hands with people. Then they went into the uh, Knights Templar Witherspoons for a little curry club. Yeah. Oh, not forgetting 
Jill Gerbil. <laughs> Sorry, coming out of clinic there, all bandaged up, shades and lips like a big baboon. <laughs> right, you can get out now. I've got to go find these buses and the Robins. Thanks, Maggie. I'm glad she didn't spot me when I was nipping into Dr. Chakrabarty's for a procedure. Now, before we go, let's find out what the weather's going to be like from our meteorologist, Tamsin. Tamsin, what's the weather going to be like? Hiya. Oh, there's a nip in the air. It's going to be a windy week. See ya. Thanks for joining us. Good night. <laughs>